How's it going, everybody? I am Donut, and we react to The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 8. Yes, Episode 8, Start to Finish. It's probably going to be uh, the start of when the tower falls, all the zombies come in, to whenever the finish of the situation is. It could also be the classic then now that we get, um, where we see the start of uh, Alexandria and Alexandria at, at you know, I would think that would be start to end instead of start to finish. Start to finish makes you think that they'll be able to handle the zombie situation somehow. With everybody there now trained in some capacity, might be possible. We'll see. Um, that's it. Let's just get into it. We have a new editor now. Uh, Damage is editing uh, these videos for the YouTube version uh, for free. So thank you, Damage. Everybody, please give some appreciation to our editor. Uh, but that's it. Let's get into the reaction. If you want to see the full length, though, you can go check that out on Patreon for eight dollars a month. If you want to see next episode's episode already, you can get that for four dollars a month. Let's get into the reaction. Okay, let's discuss this episode. Uh, now I'm doing my notes digitally now instead of physical, just for you know whatever reason. Um, anyway. Uh, the, we start off with the whole ants thing, you know, just the thing that I've been saying this whole time I've been in this community, which is that one way or another, the zombies are going to get in. You know, no matter what, they're going to find a way in, no matter how, you know, fortified you have the place, whatever. I mean, to be fair, the, the more fortified they have, the better. So much if you have a cookie and a, you know, sealed thing, it's going to be fine. But if you have it out in the open, uh, with the only thing that's really, you know, protecting it is the house itself which has plenty of ways for the zombies to get in or the ants to get in i mean <laughs> losing my metaphor here uh but yeah i mean we've been talking about that for you know th the entire time we've been doing these reactions now so uh really cool getting to see a sort of like metaphor for that uh the bullets that i assume ron dropped could have been anybody but uh i assume ron dropped carol now has three bullets on her that was definitely a checkoff's gun that's gonna go off at some point um and the big majority of this episode is them uh, running into the house, away from the zombies. Also, good God, I'm so white washed out on this, but uh, whatever, just going to deal with it for right now. Um, but uh, they all run into the house, hiding from the zombies inside. Ever Different groups at different houses and everything like that. Um, I did not see what group Tobin was at. I hope Tobin's okay, because I like Tobin. Um, there's also, I mean, I mean, there's a bunch of Alexander people that, you know, we haven't seen. But uh, Tobin we saw out there in the, in the yard, uh, so I hope he's all right. Either way, um, we it's all focused around Sam, I would say. This episode is very Sam-focused uh, because we learned uh, last episode that he doesn't even know what the hell zombies are, and now in this episode, he's being, like, he thought that the zombies were just people. Like, he still doesn't know what the zombies are not just people. So, like, bad people, like people that want to kill people. So... In his mind, we're just killing people, dismembering them, and then wearing their guts all over ourselves. He doesn't know what's going on. And so, when they're outside, and he hasn't been told anything about, hey, while we're out there, like, he'd been told to keep quiet, but that he was. He was going, Mom, Mom. He was being quiet about it, because that's all he was told, was to be quiet. And I I don't blame I don't think I don't blame Sam for anything here. Like again, I blame Jesse for not telling him anything for being a terrible mother, especially in the zombie apocalypse. She is just really making it worse for everybody. Oh man, that family is fucking <laughs> it's falling apart, man. I'm happy to see it go. Uh, but uh, we also have the whole uh, wolf thing going on. Trying to win over the most edgy man in existence. I don't know how the fuck we're going to do this. And I think it's such a, a fantastic plot line that it's not like... I mean, it is similar to the Morgan thing, but Morgan was not this edgy. He was pretty edgy. He was like, if I get out of here, I'm going to kill you and keep going on, blah, blah, But, like, I, I guess it's actually pretty fucking similar. But uh, we saw Morgan before he was like that so we can empathize with him more, whereas the wolf we haven't. Even though I guess they are, you know, I wanted to say that the wolf is more edgy, but I guess he's not any more edgy than Morgan was when he was crazy. Uh, you know, in terms of just saying that, you know, he's got to kill everybody and everybody's meant to be killed and blah, 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 blah. But 
if it can be done, we know it can be done. We've seen it be done with Morgan. I wanted to say, you know, can it be done with somebody like this? But I really am inflating it like it's like they're different, but they aren't. So we have already seen it be done. It's not like a we've seen it be done to Morgan, so can it be done to him? We've seen it be done to basically the same person because they basically are acting the same way or acted the same way or what what have you. Uh, but that doesn't really matter anymore because now, I mean, we still, we're still going to be doing that. I assume even though he's escaped, it's still going to be this moral conundrum. But, um, regardless of that, Carol still on a fucking power trip since, the, since we got to Alexandria, really. Like, it wasn't even that bad before we got to Alexandria. It was going to be fine. But once we got to Alexandria, once we met this group of people who, uh, you know, were I ignorant and everything, didn't know, like, what she was capable of and everything that, like, Morgan can sense it, like, most people can, but they can't because they have been in here the whole time and everything. So, she really got a power trip because of that, of being somebody different, of playing the nice girl again, uh, even though she's, you know, we know the way she is. Uh, and it's only gotten worse, because while before, even when we first got here in her power trip, she was at least still talking to Rick about things, talking to Michonne, you know, and everything, even though she was lying to the whole group, and you know, even when they were found out, still lying to them and stuff, um, she was still ultimately trying to talk it over with Rick and everything. Whereas now, uh, and I don't mean just this episode, I mean this season, she just does shit on her own, she doesn't care, she just, like, completely is willing to do whatever the hell she wants, you know, not asking anybody. Uh, and, and this is a situation where she can't ask anybody, sure, but, uh, this is not the time. This is not the time. There are plenty of other times. Morgan can't move him. It's not like he's going to move him to another place or anything. He can't, you know. The whole point is that he's trapped down here. He can't really do anything with him because he knows how bad this is. And it's a conversation that they could have had later. I think it's very key why it was Rick and Michonne that had the talk with him and not Carol there. <coughs> uh, but, um, yeah. Uh. Again, I feel like I'm probably going to get a lot of flack from my hate on Carol, but uh, she is. She, I, I'm giving her as much flack as I was giving Rick at the beginning of the season. Because she is still not changed. Um, what else we have? Uh, so yeah, both Ron and Enid just accepting that everybody's already dead. Like, they are just so quick to give up. Uh, Enid, though, giving up and then focusing on herself, like, giving up and being like, no, it's all about numero uno. But Ron is just giving up, giving up. He just gave up, gave up, gave up, gave up. He just doesn't care at all. And, uh, but they both have the same, uh, philosophy idea of, like, the zombie's broken, everybody's dead already. It doesn't matter how long they're still living, they're, they're dead because they're going to die at some point, it's going to be soon. <sighs> But I do agree that Carl did the right thing there, you know. I do think that killing him, or not, not killing him, but like, you know, uh, trying to, to, like, just saying anything. I don't want to say turning him in or anything, but, you know, saying anything was the wrong move. Because Rick might have really flipped out there and, and killed him. Because uh, that was before, yeah, that was before the speech with Diane, Deanne, I believe. Um... Yeah, I think Rick might have absolutely, well, I absolutely lost his fucking mind there and, and killed Ron if, uh, or, or beat the shit out of him. He would have definitely retaliated in some way. So I think Carl knew that, and he was like, I'll handle this myself. And he did the right thing there, I think. But I will say that, but then we'll get to my predictions at the end for what's going to happen next episode, because this is the mid-season finale. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, uh, yeah, Tara does not, Tara does not, is it Tara or Tara? I actually don't know. Uh, does not get enough respect, uh, for, like, how hard she is, right? I, I give her a lot of shit for being somewhat generic, but, I, like, it's because she doesn't, she hasn't really had, like, much of a focus episode, specifically because, I mean, in a while, specifically because, uh, she doesn't really need one. She's not really going through anything. Uh, even when Noah died, I thought that was going to be a thing, but she got over it extremely quickly. Uh, she really does not let it affect her very much. She'll be sad the moment, but then quickly, like, all right, you know, there's no sense being sad or whatever. That's just how this shit happens, and uh, I'm just going to keep going on. But not in a depressing way, like Sasha or Abraham or, or something like that, like, where they're just trying to pretend that they're not sad. She just seems to not be sad. She just seems to just be like, you know, brush it off. 
doesn't seem to be something that's really holding guilt into her and stuff. Which is good, I think. It's good that it doesn't seem like she's pretending or anything. Um, yeah, yeah, Gabriel had a moment saying that, you know, he's willing and he's not going to fuck it up anymore and everything like that. But I'll trust her when I see it. I don't think I'll... When, when he has multiple times been fine and not fucked everything up for all of us, then I will be like, okay, Gabriel. But for now, he has constantly been the bane of our existence. He's fucked up everything uh, since his introduction. Since the fucking first time he was introduced, he's been fucking it up. E all, all the time, every time. God damn it, Gabriel. <laughs> I'm mad at him and I'm not reacting to anything. Just remembering how much shit we've gone through because of him. Like, at first I was like, eh, you know, it was, it was never, like, no, he has just caused so many problems. Um, what else do we have here? So yeah, Dana had her last stand. You know, it's her life from start to finish. She's going to give it her all. She's not just going to commit suicide. She's going out there, shooting the zombies, screaming in their face, having a final stand. Uh, I hope she didn't get eaten to death, but uh, I'm glad we don't know what happened. We might see her again as a zombie. That would suck. Uh, because I want to know that she gained, she didn't have to go out painfully, but, you know, it's her life. She can choose how she wants to go out. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I had. For a mid-season finale, not the greatest, but I think for a mid-season premiere, it's going to be pretty fucking dope. It's going to be some hot shit, though. So, we're going to see what that is. Um, predictions for next episode... Uh, I think, uh, I haven't normally done this, but I have a pretty strong prediction for this. I am very, uh, I don't want to say I'm very confident in this, but I am putting a lot of stake in this. I think this could happen. I, I think Ron is going to try and kill Carl. Like, okay, let me do this, like, uh, chronologically. I think, you know, we're going to start it off. Sam saying, mommy, blah, blah. Sam's going to get bit. Then I think Jesse's going to try and save him. Jesse is also going to get bit or something like that. Ron, in the confusion, is going to try and kill Carl. And I don't think he's going to be successful. Uh, I think he might hit him. I think it is probably just in the situation they're in. I think it's going to have to be a not very serious injury. But, like, like I don't think it's going to be, like, a graze. I do think Carl's going to get shot. But, like, I think he's going to get shot in, like, the arm or something. You know. Uh, I... <sighs> yeah. I dreamed before that I think he's... <laughs> that he, I think it would be funny if he got shot in the same spot before. But, uh, joking aside, I don't think he's going to get shot in the, like, stomach or anything. Because that would, like, in the... Yeah, and, and like in the gut, because that would be, that uh, would be too like that would just be too similar, right? That's the big thing. Like I, I am so, I feel so confident that Carl's gonna get shot, but then I constantly keep thinking back to like, are they gonna have him get shot twice? Like, I mean, <laughs> not to say that characters haven't got shot twice in this show, but specifically Carl. Carl is someone who doesn't. He's not in gunfights. He doesn't get shot regularly. You know. He's been shot the one time, and it was a really big deal. Uh, if they shoot him again, and it's just, like, again in the gut or something. Like, it's going to either have to be a more serious injury or a less serious injury, is what I'm saying. Like, it's not going to be a shoot him in the gut. Not because of the location. Like, I don't think, I'm not saying that, but I don't think, like, I don't think they're just going to do it again, right? It would be such a similar sort of story if he got shot in the gut, but, like, you know... It's going to either have to be, you know, he gets shot in the arm or just grazes or something. A not that bad injury. Or it would have to be, I mean, what's a worse injury? Killing him? There's not really a worse injury. So, I'm going to go, he's going to get shot in the arm or grazed or something like that. Because you can't get, no, I mean, you can't get worse. <laughs> not with, like, a shot, you know. Like, it's not like he's going to lose his arm with a shot or something. Uh, could get shot in the hand and then have a, a, a thing, like, you know, connecting back to the Rick thing. Uh, with Rick losing his hand, like Carl gets shot in the hand and so he can't use his hand or something. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. And a way for it to have a lasting, affecting injury without it being, like, overlapping with his past injury. Anyway, let me give my full prediction here. So, Sam's gonna get bit, Jesse's gonna get bit, Ron's gonna try and, uh, shoot and kill Carl, I assume. Um, but he's going to miss, hit him in the arm or something, hit him in the hand or something. Uh, a not that bad injury in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and Rick is going to flip out, about to retaliate, about to shoot Ron in the head, but I don't think he's going to. And I think next season we're going to have a big thing of, because I, I think this only works if Jesse is also dead, which is why I just threw in that Jesse probably is also going to help Sam and get bit. Uh, if Ron has no family anymore, Rick, uh, Ron got 
you know, Jesse killed, who Rick was in love with, which also would be a big plot point for season six then, especially with the, oh, you know, what's her face, uh, uh, Judas looking more like Lori, and shut the fuck up, um, but, uh, where the hell was I? Uh, yeah, so if Ron doesn't have any family and everything like that, and with the whole conversation with Deanna of, Rick, these are all your people, and Ron is still one of your people, even after all that. Uh, I also think Gabriel's just gonna lose his shit and run away. I don't think he's gonna stick with what he said. I absolutely don't believe it. But yeah, my main prediction, Sam gonna die, Jess is gonna die, Ron's gonna try and kill Carl but miss, and Rick is not gonna retaliate to kill him. He's gonna retaliate in some way, but not to kill him. Maybe just to intimidate, uh, unintentionally. Uh, because he did plan to kill him, but I, he won't, I think. Anyway, that's my predictions for next episode. I will see you guys for next episode. Until then, get the fuck out of here. I always look, I constantly keep looking at my mic. Whenever I'm talking, whenever I'm doing anything. I mean, it's good because my words are supposed to be going there, but I should be looking at the camera. I say this as a reaction. I don't know why. It's just to explain why I'm constantly looking over here. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>